Can you feel that? That thing that's beating your dog on chest right now. Can you feel it? Can you feel what's about to happen on this wheel, man? Let's go. Hello, Man Nation. S Gibbs here for another exciting edition. It is not your den, it is not my den, but it is the Mad Den, aka the Laser Show, the internet's most passionate show. Passionate show about John Madden NFL 12 football. Kicking off the bang, show 155. How about, and I know this is nothing to do with football, but how about that World Series game last night? Unreal. Um, I've never seen a better game in my life. I mean, maybe the best game I've ever seen was probably the comeback against the Yankees, 04. Um, maybe, I don't even call it a game, a series. I mean, that was unreal. It wasn't the World Series, but, you know, it's still pretty good. But that game last night was hands down, you know, in terms of what's on the line, un unfreaking believable. Um, anyways, today we are talking about uh, the Denver Broncos X Factor. Pretty excited about this formation. Um, I want to dive a little bit more into it um, in the coming days. I, I, it's a pretty powerful formation. That's really why I want to focus on it. So we'll see how we can work on it uh, in the coming days into, a, into our scheme. But a um, couple things. Custom, our custom uh, offensive playbook is available. So check it out. Primaman.com. It is available today. Uh, what are you going to get in it? You're going to get um, see single back Z trip, single back big. Uh, you're going to get I form tight, strong, close. Um, shotgun split flex, shotgun empty tray, shotgun tight tight doubles on. Uh, what else? There's 12, 13 formations. There's other full house. Um, I mean, you get it all. I mean, you get tag man, zone, um, a ground and pound run game. I mean, the best of both worlds, custom playbook. Uh, over a 30 minute uh, video of, of how to mesh the entire scheme together, and then plus each each formation has its own. Um, individual video breakdown of, of how to run all the plays within that formation. Um, and then you can focus also on, we also show you how to do the custom playbook. It's like a 17 minute video, um, step by step, literally every step of how to set the custom book up so it comes out right uh, the first time. So check that out, guys. I'm pretty excited about that. I can't wait to hear your feedback on what it is. We gave a lot more video tip this time, so keep in mind, there's no, there's no written breakdown of anything, okay? It's just all video. So you, I, I explain it on the screen. So say hot route this guy. It's very similar to, to this style show in terms. Of, it's better quality. I'm not using a zoomy zoom camera. Um, but it's you put the same thing. I, I'm, I'm recording and voicing over at the same time. So I say, you know, curl this guy. You see it happen on the screen. So that was just the feedback that we had gotten from the uh, from the first guide. So we'll try this out, see how it goes. I mean, if it, uh, you give us your feedback, what do you like? Um, Whatever you know, whatever you guys prefer, let us know, and we'll continue to do that moving forward. But uh, today we're going to talk about X Factor formation for the Denver Broncos playbook. I'm pretty excited about this play. It's it is an ultimate X Factor, great formation. Um, but also heading into the weekend, what are your predictions uh, for NFL games this weekend? What's your prediction for the World Series? I don't. That game is crazy. Pats though. I mean, I it's not up here now. Just the custom offense is at their premium But um, Pats game six and one. They're gonna smash the Steelers. Troy Pauls. I'm oh, sorry, buddy. Big Ben. Your clock's running out, buddy. That was a pretty cheesy line. But um, the Pats roll six six and one. They're gonna beat them twenty eight seventeen. I'm fired up, can't wait. Uh, my fantasy football team's not looking good this weekend. I have a ton of wide receivers that are out uh, for one of my leagues, so we're gonna have to have to fight through that. But that's that's X Factor. X Factor lock up. That's X Factor and lock up. So let's get our zoomy zoom on. A little boom, a little boom. America runs on it, right? Got myself a turbo shot in there. Who's talking on Twitter? We got Chad the Beast. Uh, Chad the uh, the Chad the Beast. He says switch in single back trips. If you put a slot re slot receiver on a curl, it beats zone a lot. LB and hooks go for receiver icon by leaving curl open. So maybe you'll have to message Chad. I don't know. That's what he told me right now. So I don't really know. But zoomy zoom time. Uh, zoom zoom zoom. Uh, zoom zoom zoom. So as you can see, that's the formation that we're looking at. I was looking a lot into the Panthers. After the update, because Cam Newton juice is a beast. But here's my thing about the Panthers, right? 
if I'm gonna if I'm gonna give up the Raiders, this is this is the battle I go like I this inter internal battle I I fight with myself all the time. I say okay, I'm gonna give up the Raiders. I'm gonna go to a different team. I'm like okay, I'm gonna go to the Panthers. If I'm gonna go to the Panthers, why wouldn't I use the Eagles? So then I but then the reason for that is well I would be getting more height on the Panthers, but the 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 drop of a defense is so bad. Is I mean, is such a difference between even like the Raiders and Eagles, and then the Ra the Eagles to the Panthers, that I don't think that extra height matters. I mean, you get Cam Newton who throws bombs, but that's the the battle I'm having. Like, okay, so I'm gonna leave the you leave the Raiders for one reason because Jason Campbell is good enough. He gets it done. You leave the Raiders for one reason, I think, and that's be their catch rating. Their catch ratings can be frustrating as the living daylights, right? I don't even know. It's so frustrating. So then I'm thinking, okay, go to the Panthers. But then you go to the Panthers, now you lose all that defense. Okay, so you lose all that defense, but you have a great offense. But why am I going to the Panthers? I'm going to the Panthers for Cam Newton. That's right, right? So if I want a mobile quarterback that can throw, Vic is a better option because Vic is a better overall quarterback in the game. Right, so then, so the reason to go to the Panthers is to go with Cam Newton. But then the reason, if your if your reason is to go with Cam Newton, I hope this isn't confusing people. So the reason you would say, okay, I'm going to go to the Panthers because I want Cam Newton, and then the weapons around him are good. Well, you go to the the Eagles, the weapons around Vic are just as good. You just don't have that height. Now, give and take. I mean, but. So then you say, okay, well, then I would go with the Panthers, but the drop-off on defense is so ridiculous. Is it worth it? Because then you could say, well, why would I want to go to the Panthers? Why wouldn't I go to the Saints or Cowboys? Because then I get a, a balanced offense plus height and speed plus a mobile, kind of a mobile quarterback, two good backs, a much better defense. So this is the battle I have all the time. So that's why I'm always like, I'm sticking with the Raiders. Sticking with them. Ride or die. Ride or die. Um... All right, so that was just so you guys understand what I'm going through. <laughs> That's what I was going through. So the play we're talking about um, is the slot screen from the trips tight end formation. So come out of 46, just say two man under. Now, what I love about this is you can run this against anything. Man, zone, doesn't matter. Just bang, deliver the ball in there, get a block, little swoop, little Z-file swoop. I mean, this play... Can I mean I I don't know if you would say it as far as you could run it like every play because I don't think you can but it's so good that I would consider maybe almost running it every play it's so good like it's so good so that's one option you can run it I just block I I only sent out one guy Decker um, maybe you put Fells there on a curl but you get a good blocking with him there uh, you just drop back deliver the ball to B and then just go. So one option that you have, though, instead of just throwing to B, would be to place Y on a curl, streak Royal in the slot, and then a curl over there. So what you hear, you put Marino on, on the drag, and then you could run off Marino that way. You know, this is how we've done other screens in the past. Um, here it is again. So see, I mean, it's pretty good. It's I think it's almost more consistent to the halfback. But it doesn't. I mean, even against zone, though, against zone, you can even run. You can run this formation here. This little screen against zone, right? It doesn't really matter. You, it, that's what's so good about this. And plus, in combination with this, if you're going to use this formation, say if you got a custom playbook, there's some great deep route plays that you can implement into your into your game plan um, that can would just just awesome, just simply awesome. So um, I don't know. Let's try what this is like. Let's see what this is. I have no idea what this is going to happen here. He's just going to drop back. I don't know. You get funky with things. So I'm just trying to quick motion. Uh-oh. So, yeah. Anyways, that's uh, that's the X Factor. Try it out. Slot screen. Add it to your custom playbook. Check it out. Denver playbook. Um, I know there's... Uh, let, me, let me pull up the guy that said that he... Uh, a shout out to a guy on Twitter. Where is he? Yeah, my computer... Computer, wake up, wake up, wake up. See that little thing there? It's freaking out. Uh, this is to Tim, T L O V L 2003. He said he used uh, show one, no, that's not, yeah, that was, that is Tim, yeah, one, show 154, he used the 
um, tips we had in that for uh, for some five touchdowns in his mutt game. Well, Tim, use this. You're gonna get a little bit better, a uh, little better action with it, Tim. I hope you appreciate it. Good luck this weekend, guys, with your teams. Have a great weekend. Have fun. Have safe. Uh, be safe. Have a good Halloween weekend. I should have dressed up. I still have time to dress up. I could dress up for Monday. I should dress up. I'm probably gonna dress up. If you guys can guess who or what I will be dressing up as, I'll give you something. Um, but for another great episode, one five five, guys, moving on up. Um, as always, we are changing this Madden community, guys. We are changing it, and we're changing it so hard, whether anyone wants to believe it or not. We are changing the Madden community, and we're doing it together, and we, most importantly, are doing it one snap, like this. Just one snap. Oh, just one snap at a time. Go, go, go!